Hello, it is Ironhead 41. Uh, we're going to do a, a recipe of how to make this stuff liver pudding. See, we never really think about uh, down here in the south, and I'm sure there's foods that y'all eat up in the north and northwest and other parts, other, other countries for that matter, foods that we ain't never heard of and don't have access to. Never thought about Nisa's pudding not being in any grocery store in the world. You know what I'm saying? So, for those of you that can't buy this, can't find it, I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really simple. Uh, you're going to need one pound of liver, whether it's chicken liver, beef liver, pork liver, whatever you want, whatever you'll fancy. Uh, I'm using the beef liver. We don't eat much pork here. Not, more, not, not much at all. Uh, so what I got is I got one pound of sliced beef liver. And make sure you inspect it because sometimes the gall is still in it and they slice right through it. Make sure there ain't no pieces of gallbladder in it. We got a half cup of oil in the frying pan. We got it heating up. And as soon as it gets hot, I'm going to put the liver and fry it in the frying pan. Let it cool off for a minute and then put it in the food processor. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna, I am going to add two eggs. You should test your eggs. Uh, so put them in a bowl of water. If they sink, they're good. If they float, they ain't no good. Especially if you're uh, hatching your own eggs. So these eggs are good. As you can see, the liver don't take long to cook. Uh, it's already halfway done. It's been on about, I don't know, about 30 seconds. That's how long you cook. When it turns brown, it's done. Alright, while that's cooking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some grits. Now, I don't know what kind of grits you buy, whether it's instant or cooked grits. I'm going to tell you what, it takes just as long, just as much time to boil the water or microwave the water to put in instant grits as it does to cook grits. I'm going to put about, about a full cup of grits right there. Plain and simple, really easy. Cup of cooked grits. I'm going to fill the bowl up with hot water just about all the way up, about a half inch from the top there. Probably, that's probably about five... Well, nah, that's about four cups of cold water. I'm going to stick it in the microwave five minutes. If you don't have grits where you're at, use cornmeal. Same, same way. I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven on 350. We are going to put this in a low pan, a grease low pan. I took, just took some lard, fingers, and rubbed it all over the pan. You can see what I've done here. Put a paper towel on top. I want to get all that oil off of it. All right, the grits in microwave, five minutes. You see the consistency of it is thick. That's the way you want it. You don't want it runny. It should be like a mush. That's where the name liver mush comes from because they use cornmeal to make mush. Just like that. I'll put this in the bowl, the grits, and I'm going to spread them out because grits hold heat for a long time. So I'm going to spread them out because I want it to cool and cool fast. But I'm going to tell you what, uh, liver pudding ain't nothing but, but liver, grits and eggs, and spices. That's it. Simple. Alright, next we're going to take the liver, now that it's cooled off some, we're just going to throw it in the food processor and grind it up to a pulp. Mmm, mmm. I'm going to that food. Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that is beautiful. Mm. All right. Now, before I put this in here, I'm going to take two eggs, chicken eggs, test them. Break it open right into the grits. Like so. Save your eggshells, rinse them off, feed them back to the chickens. They love eggshells. Alright, I am going to add some black pepper. About, I don't know, about a, a good heaping teaspoon. I am going to add some salt, some light salt. 
uh, about about a teaspoon of, of salt because the grits need salt. Grits always need salt. Uh, about about a half a teaspoon. That's enough. Now sage, boy, I like I like it really sagey. So I'm gonna put ground sage in it. About a good tablespoon, a good heaping tablespoon. That's it right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and combine this in with the grits. Like so. I mean, it all. All right. Now I'm going to add this pound of cooked liver. Like I said, I am using the beef liver. Mix this up good. Thank you. This is delicious. You guys ain't never had beef liver? You, I mean, never had uh, liver pudding? You will like this. Mm. Ooh wee. Mm. Mmm, smell that. Don't that smell good? It's a scratch and scream, scratch your screen and snip. Mmm, smell that. Now what I'm gonna do is, I got my oven preheated on 350. I'm going to put it in a loaf pan. Now it won't swell up like, like a loaf of bread, so you can feed your pan on up pretty good. This will make one good loaf pan. And I'll just take a pen full and just lay it on top to keep the top from burning. And in one hour it'll be ready and we'll show you what it looks like. Alright, it's been an hour. Uh, get my oven mitts on. I'll fish you. <laughs> All right, we're ready to take this. Let's put it now. Look at that. Does that not look just like a hunk of liver pudding? Liver mush. Smell it. Oh, my God. Don't that smell good? All right. Mmm, taste that. Mmm, mmm. Don't that taste good? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Well, good, ain't it? Mm. Well, that's it. Easy liver pudding. Make it yourself. Mm. 